color marking extends the possibilities for personalizing products. However, you will not see rich colors on all metals. If you want to know which materials can be used, stay tuned. Hello, this is Watson, and today we are going to look at color marking with the FLTT fiber optic marker. Let's start with the basics. How are the colors created? When marking, the metal is heated and an oxide film forms on the surface. As you know, color is reflected light and it is oxide film that reflects light rays in one spectrum or another. Whether the marking is green or red depends on the heating temperature and the thickness of the film. But not all materials are from colored oxides. Titanium, stainless steel, iron, and zirconium are good at this. What helps to achieve color marking? One of the things that helps here is more pore technology. This type of emitter can change the pore's length and vary the power over a wide range. The second thing is the H parameter. Changing this will change the intensity of the material. The higher the parameter, the lighter the shade. Now we are going to tell you about the know-how that we use ourselves to determine the color of the markers. We created space in coral jaw, then imported them into easy cut. Now you need to fill each square and choose a color. Now we are adjusting the color. Don't forget to uncheck the use default parameters box. We adjust the speed, power with which it will process the material and frequency. The smaller the line space, the longer metal will heat up. We adjust each color according to the same principle. Then we mark the squares on metal. The settings depend on the material and the power of the emitter. Ours are given as an example. On the basis of this result, we can understand which color in program corresponds to this or that color on the metal. Place the materials on the working area. And let's check out the results. Between diode pumped and fiber optic markers, the latter are the winners. The stability of the emission makes them better for color. The quality and type of emitter is important because the integral temperature, because the combined thermal effect on the material after all operations is important in the process. The Watson FLTT has a wavelength of 1064 nanometers and the frequency range varies from 1 to 4000 kilohertz, all of which helps to achieve the best results for metal marking and a higher contrast image. Emitters may vary from company to company. The FLTT can be fitted with GPT, Recast, and Max Photonics. What some can advise which is suitable for you? Write in the comments if you have any more questions about markers. Like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video. My name is Anli. This is Wassam. See you soon.